welcome to your social studies class children today we will be doing the lesson 15 amazing animals right let's start reading about animals and know about what kind of animals are there animals are found everywhere you can see them in the sky on land and on trees and in water animals are everywhere in sky on land and on trees and in water domestic animals now let's see what are domestic animals we keep many animals for work or for food or as a pet in our homes do you have animals uh, at your home for work for food or pet yes i'm sure you do might be having some animals as pet maybe a cat or a dog or even sometimes people have animals for work Okay, let's see what, what, what kind of animals are those. These animals are called domestic animals. Cows and buffaloes give milk. What do cows and buffaloes give? They give us milk. Horses and bullocks pull carts. Horses and bullocks, what do they do? They pull carts. Okay, they take the carts to the carts. Oxen plow fields. Oxen are in the uh, used in farming okay kheti baadi mein oxen ko uh, use kiya jata hai donkeys carry loads sheep give wool goats and pigs give meat hens and ducks give eggs okay so animals are very useful each and every animal is very useful and people are uh, given great help by these animals Domestic animals like dogs and cats live with us in our homes. Dogs guard our houses and the cats keep the mice away. We also call such animals pet animals. Right? Now, uh, domestic animals like cats and dogs, they live with us in our homes. Okay? What do dogs do? They guard our homes. If a thief comes or some a bad person comes or a stranger comes, they bark. Okay, and what do the cats do? They catch the mice which can actually destroy many things in our home. We also call such animals pet animals. Can you, can you see the cow and goat here? They give us milk. Hen gives egg and chicken. This hen gives egg and chicken. Bullocks pull cart. Now let's come to the next page. Okay, next page is page number 81. All domestic animals live in man-made shelters which means shelters made by man. Domestic animals live in shelters which are made by man. Man makes kennels for dogs. Dogs live in kennels. Pens for pigs. Pigs live in pens. Sheds for cows. Stables for horses and coops for hens. These are the places where these domestic animals live and these are built by uh, people, okay? We should keep a man-made shelter of our domestic animals clean. If you have a domestic animal at your home, in your home, you should make a house for them and these uh, you, or sh uh, shelter for them, I would say. Okay, now let's see. Cow lives in a shed and we should keep it clean. Horses live in stable. Dogs live in a kennel. Pig lives in pen, right? The, now, this was about the uh, domestic animals. Now let us see about the wild animals, right? Many animals live in forest. Such animals are called wild animals. Now people cannot make houses for them because they are wild, okay? And they, they can hunt us down. So what happens? They make their own shelters. These wild animals, they make their own shelters we don't have to make houses for them or live in natural shelters lions live in a den live in dens birds make nests on trees do you make a nest for a bird no they are they make their nests by themselves okay and uh, lions choose dens by themselves bees make beehives and spiders make webs see can you see a lion is a lion is sitting in a den then bees make beehive, spiders make a web. Do you make web for a spider? 
no they do it by themselves so this was the difference between domestic and wild animals we have to make houses for the domestic animals but the wild animals make houses for themselves now let us come to the next page okay aquatic animals now let us first see this complete the picture of the spider's web and beehive you just have to complete the picture of this beehive and spider's web okay now uh, after domestic wild we will come to the aquatic animals animals that live in water are called aquatic animals right animals that live in water are called aquatic animals like fish whale sea horse starfish and sea horse starfish and octopus are aquatic animals let's see again fish okay uh, fish whale sea horse this is a sea horse okay starfish this is a starfish octopus this is an octopus these are all aquatic animals they live in water in seas in oceans in rivers or even ponds right then let us uh, see about the amphibians what are these what are what is this called amphibians right now let us read about them amphib animals that live both on land and in water are called amphibians wo animals jo pani mein bhi rehte hain aur zameen pe bhi rehte hain land pe bhi rehte hain they are known as amphibians crocodile turtle and frog are amphibians a crocodile a turtle and a frog they can live in water also all the time and they can live on land also all the time right now let us come to the next page food of animals okay food of animals we eat food to live and grow like us animals also need food do you eat food children yes if you will not have food you cannot live and you will not grow okay so in the same way animals also need food cows giraffes and monkeys eat plants animals that eat only plants and plant products are called plant eating animals what are the animals that eat only plant they are called plant eating animals right and they are cows giraffes monkeys etc right now lion tiger snake eat the flesh of other animals lion tiger snake dusre animals ka flesh khate hain right animals that eat flesh are called flesh eating animals jo animals flesh khate hain they are known as flesh eating animals bear cat and dog eat both plants and animals now there are three type of divisions okay first animals that eat only plants then next uh, animals that eat only flesh a lion does not eat leaves and all or fruits and all right it only eats the flesh of other animals wo ped paudhe nahi khata hai lion aur tiger aur cheetah wo sirf flesh khata hai dusre animals ka meat khata hai right lekin but there are some animals which eat both plants also and other animals also right and what are those animals they they are known they are bear cat and dog eat both plants and animals see now this is a, a tiger a lion okay and and a tiger again okay and this is also a tiger <coughs> so these are uh, and a lion these all eat flesh but a dog but what does a dog eat dog eats both flesh and also plants or even vegetables a bear also it can eat it loves to eat fish but at the same time it eats plant but this uh, uh, cow over here it does not eat any kind of flesh it only eats plants right so this is the description about all the animals that we have just read i hope children you have understood and uh, uh, you have liked the this lesson amazing animals god bless you and take care